Hey there creators, are you seeking the best monitor for your creative work? Today, we are putting the Apple Studio display head to head with the LG 4K display. I've used this for three months now and the LG monitor every single day for five freaking years. What's the main differences? There is a clear winner for me here, but why? Is it because there's improvements to my productivity? Is it ultimately worth paying five times more for this studio display? Well, let's find you your perfect monitor. If you're new here, my name is Mindy and on this channel, we break down and compare tags so that we find the best one that we're satisfied with that makes our life better. Let's get into it. Here are the key differences in terms of specs for these two monitors, but these numbers did not help me that much when I was deciding to get the studio monitor. Just wasn't convinced to get the studio display. They're both high quality, high resolution monitors. The LG still works so fine for me after five years despite some scratches here and there. And hey, if you need an additional screen, both will get the job done. And the LG is cheaper, so it's a no-brainer. The studio display just felt like a tiny minor upgrade, but after using the studio monitor, I get it. I realized that as a creative professional, having the right monitor can significantly impact your workflow, the quality of your work. For example, color accuracy. Whether you're an editor or photographer, when you spend long hours editing on your screen. The goal is to have so you want whatever you see, whatever you edited, whatever you exported to be what you see on here. You want this too to look like the same thing. And the studio display is literally the only one that works right out of the box. Sharpness, color, brightness, everything. You don't ever have to fiddle with the settings right here to set the right color. I mean, you literally cannot because there's no buttons on the studio display to do that. But the thing is you don't have to because the color profile on this studio display is exactly the same as what you see on the Mac, on your phone, with the LG, I would have to set it to the right color and I don't have expensive tools to do that. What I do is really by comparing whatever that I see on the LG monitor to my Mac. But even after calibrating a few times, it's not the exact clone, it's just approximately similar. Sometimes if I really need accurate colors, I would just not edit the colors on my LG display and switch to using my MacBook Pro instead. So it defeats the whole purpose of having a monitor. With the studio display, I never ever face those problems. It saves me so much time and my eyes just feel so much happier working on the studio display. I went with this standard glass option. It is way more reflective than my LG screen, but the resolution on this is way higher, way better. It is unfortunately also a dust magnet, but it is fine. I do clean it once a week and it's good. Next, I think we underestimate the amount of convenience of adjusting the brightness of the monitor with just keyboard shortcuts like this. Or with your mouse like that, there's no need to like reach underneath, fiddle around with the buttons, select this, select that. That whole process is so tedious. It just makes me never ever want to change or touch the settings of my LG monitor. Being able to change the brightness of my monitor so easily is amazing. I realize just how often I do it throughout the day, especially when I'm color grading stuff. Being able to just use keyboard shortcuts saves me so much time. The studio display also has an awesome speaker, mic, camera built in. I don't know anyone else who would claim that they love the speakers on their monitor because it usually sucks. But the studio display, I love it. Please hear the differences between these two monitors. I would never ever use the LG 4K speakers because it's just trash. Back when I was using my LG monitor, I would only rely on my MacBook Pro speakers. Yes, the MacBook is close up, but it still sounds way better than the LG monitor. If you're wondering about additional speakers on your desk, I personally do not like that because it takes up desk space and I like to keep the desk as minimal as possible because I find that I work better, more creatively that way. So having a great speaker built in is a huge win for me. I don't really use a camera or a mic because I do get better resolution on my MacBook Pro and I do already have a Elgato mic in my setup. And try to record with this. 
I definitely much prefer this Elgato mic and it's right next to me. So you just put it in front of me whenever I have to make a phone call, a Zoom call. That being said, I do like having that option, especially if I'm late for a Zoom meeting and have no time to set things up. It's great having a camera. But let's also address the elephant in the room. I'm talking about the limited pods on the studio display. Now, unlike a normal monitor like the LG, Studio Display has only four USB-C ports. So you literally cannot connect it to your PC, your PlayStation that use a typical DP or HDMI cable. So that really sucks. Just felt like Apple made the Studio Display for only productivity reasons, only for the Mac and nothing else. As a light gamer, this was one of the main reasons that stopped me from getting the Studio Display at the very start. But hey, I found a solution that actually works and I'm happy a lot of people online would recommend the Belkin option from AliExpress, but I would say save your money, get this cable here from Amazon instead. It's like 40 bucks. You get it way faster with Amazon and it will actually arrive, unlike the one from AliExpress. <laughs> if you'd like to get it, I'll leave my affiliate link below. Make sure to select the display port option. Speaker works, the camera works, the mic works. Hi, oh, it's recording. <laughs> I hope it's recording, everything should be coming from... All that important stuff works. The thing that doesn't work is if you want to use your display as a hub. Like if you have a hard drive connected to the back, you can't access that hard drive on your PC. And you cannot control the brightness of the monitor with your PC. Although you can adjust the volume, so that's weird but great. That being said, this is why the studio display is a clear winner for me. It looks like an art piece. It just upgrades my whole desk setup. It could be a psychology thing. When my desk looks like a freaking art, it makes me want to go to it more and to work on it more. I spent 400 bucks to upgrade this to the tilt and height adjustable one. Just to make sure I have the ergo box checked. I mean, I'm already spending 2K on this. So the extra 400 bucks to make sure that my neck is not screwed because of bad ergo, it's worth it. I used to use a monitor arm with the LG display because the original stand here, I do not like it at all. And it takes up so much space. But the problem with a monitor arm is that it will scratch my wall if I put my desk too close to it and I adjust the monitor arms. So with the studio display, I decided to just go with the stand and it looks way neater. Which brings me to this, the improvement in my productivity. When I remove all these frictions to work, like having to adjust the color settings of my monitor every single time I want to do some serious color editing and being able to move my monitor so freely without worrying about it damaging my walls. When I remove all these frictions, my workflow is just way smoother. All the time and mental effort saved allows me to put more focus in my creative work and this just fits so well in my Apple ecosystem. I just dock my Mac, plug it in, everything works well. And have I mentioned how fast this display wakes up? Watch the difference. So yes, this is expensive, but if it saves me time, makes me more efficient, more motivated to work and happier, I think it is worth it. I think it's gonna pay for itself eventually, at least for the kind of work that I do. But if you are just looking for a secondary monitor that has USB-C power delivery, there's so many options out there and cheaper. If you are a creator, you value your time and you need a monitor that just looks good and just works out of the box. And if you're on Mac OS mostly, then this studio display is gonna upgrade your entire set up your entire workflow you won't regret it trust me if you enjoy this video then you'll definitely enjoy this one right here where we explore whether it's worth upgrading to the new apple watch or not thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one stay minty and cheery goodbye